Hey, welcome to my studio. It's Dina Tollefson. Come along with me to Santa Fe. I'm going to be painting, finishing a painting, uh, Moonlit Lilies. Um, I've just put a little bit of the painting here for you to see. I'm painting this in my studio. If you haven't gotten a chance yet to watch Moonlit Lilies Part 1, um, I've got a detailed paint, uh, detailed uh, video showing um, how I put this painting together. So I'm working on the painting and then it's going to be shipping to the gallery and my husband Bill and I are flying separately, um, in, well together, we're flying together, but separate from the art supplies. Um, so we got a rental car flying first from Cedar Rapids to Albuquerque, got a rental car and now we're going to drive. It's about, oh, hour, an hour and a half, something like that to get from Albuquerque to Santa Fe. If you haven't been to Santa Fe before, it is an amazing city. And this particular road is called Canyon Road, and it is just literally packed with art galleries. There are 250 art galleries in the city with only roughly 85,000 uh, residents. And it's the third largest art market in the United States. So all the buildings that you see on Canyon Road here are historic buildings. Uh, a lot of them are made with adobe. Here is Canyon Road Contemporary Art Gallery. This is the amazing art gallery that represents my originals uh, in Santa Fe. One of my paintings there. My husband, wonderful husband of 31 years, Bill, is setting up um, my Gorilla Painter. There's a little uh, view of Nancy and her assistant. They're hanging up a painting and I'm saying hello there and talking with some art collectors. So it's kind of tricky to paint and talk to people at the same time and, and uh, but so what I did or what kind of makes it easier for me if, um, might be helpful to you also is if you ever have to do a painting demonstration, sometimes either working on a familiar subject or um, you know if you can pre-paint some of it at home in your studio do something like that first if you can um, what I'm since I'm working on a larger painting I needed to finish it all on site so all I left uh, to really do what were these lily pads and then some of the water and I wanted to leave the painting there um, at the gallery and rather than try and ship it back we'll just go ahead and uh, finish the painting there and then leave it uh, leave it there to be sold so just using palette knives and spoons and this uh, art technique that you see here is called Taoism so I'm a professional artist um, Six years ago, I left a successful job as an electrical engineer to pursue art full-time. And um, I, my goal is to bring joy to your painting. So I hope that you, um, if this is your first time here, thank you so much for being here. And I appreciate that you guys are here. So um, this really means a lot to me that, um, that we are one, all, all one art family. So now adding a little bit more black to the mix. Uh, adding black makes it a darker green. I can work on some of this vertical foliage. And now some phthalo blue red shade. It's a particular favorite of mine. I include this color in most of the paintings. Uh, whenever I have blue, I'll be sure to add phthalo blue red shade. And then just taking that same phthalo blue red shade and adding um, a little black to it, we can get a different color, adding a little white, adding a little bit of orange. Uh, orange adding orange to it is the um, color complement so that will automatically neutralize it. Now this kind of complex gray, mauve kind of gray, uh, I made by taking the phthalo blue red shade, adding some orange, and, some, and then some white, and we can get kind of this wonderful neutral color. go. So 
So next I'd like to take you inside the gallery. So here's a little view of the gallery from the um, outside. And next to me are Carrie Reeves and Allie Lawner explaining their process. Yeah. I like it. Thank you. So I'll tell you a little oh, bit about my process. Want to touch yeah. It. Well, that's my actually my hope is if you feel like you want to touch the painting, I feel like I've done my job. Yeah. So Can so I? The, absolutely, yeah. So that's it's oh, the baby. texture is called it's called Daubism for the um, really thick wow. textured marks that are made and I use um palette knife and a spoon. Oh my goodness. And um and so if you're familiar with pointillism, which is little dots of color. This is a um, hybrid in the way it's like a mo cross between a mosaic and a traditional painting as I'm really influenced by mosaics. And then the um, other awesome. the other idea would be uh, um, uh, just like a low relief sculpture. Beautiful. So thank you so much. That's great. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Oh, that cute camera. Oh, Tracy, this is uh, Dina, the artist of the. Yeah, hi. I'm, I'll say hi. I'll say hi. I'm doing just a little. Hi, hi. Tell about how you do this. Yeah. So this is um, a technique I developed called Daubism, and I developed the technique in the year 2000. And what I'm doing is I'm applying paint um, with uh, palette knives and spoons, and uh, my aim is to have a cross between a low relief sculpture and a mosaic and a traditional painting so when you're up close you're gonna you know you've got an original there's no way that this is a print right. you know what i mean it's it's right. like um, very textured very three-dimensional and i'm also these are my idea of how god breathes onto the earth and every day we get a new sunrise and a new sunset so um this concept i have is that and um, these are all named after people from the bible this is Moses' sky and over there is um peter's sky Okay. But over the years, I've done so many of these sky paintings, I'm doing some obscure names, like I'm doing Philemon and Habakkuk and oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Malachi Sky. Yeah, sure. And then the sunflowers, I'm thinking about the sunflowers as people in like loving relationships. Mm -hmm. And so the ones that have three, like this one over here has um, three um, people in it. And then this one, for example, has two. So these are people that are, they love each other and I want to have a feeling of joy. Remember, kind of like, you know, like how you think about music. Mm -hmm. If you put a certain set kind of music on, it'll make you feel a certain way. Mm -hmm. And it's really true also with visual art. So there I am um, in the gallery inside. Another view from the other angle. So Adam Schultz's sculptures here. And I thought we'd just take uh, Robert Langford paintings. thought we could just take a little tour around uh, the other parts of the gallery. And I'll um, take a little look up near the front. And Mark Bowles paintings, these really large um, abstract views of a landscape are just really stunning. And there's a book um, with his work in it as well as uh, um, a magazine and Lydia Piper's art glass she's a really wonderful artist out of Albuquerque and Allie Lawner beaded skulls Allie's a good friend of mine and she does these amazing beaded skulls Troy Richardson's abstracts on the wall and here is Mallet and Red Hawk uh, they did um, these stone paintings, so they have a piece of stone and then add uh, abstracts around it. Pat Hobaugh does these fantastic, uh, humorous, um, still life paintings. He sets up all these little figurines and then um, paints them, and all of them have a lot of humor to them. They're really neat paintings. Toby Clement, um, her um, pastel paintings and Lori Eckhart's sculptures are in this room. And then Jeff Faust, um, some large fantasy um, uh, trompe l'oeil paintings. And then some more of Lydia's on, on the wall. Doug Gillis's art glass and more of Lydia's here on the wall. Molly Heiser's sculptures and Andre Hudson's 
paintings, and Andre does these amazing um, Southwest uh, based uh, bison and uh, and horses, uh, different different motifs like that. So here's the room uh, where my paintings are. Some of my sunflowers and sky paintings. Uh, the one on the wall, um, they sold right after I left, but uh, I wanted to also show you some more of Lydia's um, glass. And then Adam Thomas Rees, he does these amazing polymer clay and steel sculptures. And uh, they're just really very, very detailed and very smooth. So um, there's another view, one of my pond paintings. But just take a look at this cat that he did. Um, all of that is done. That's all individual colors of clay that he's rolled and cut and then um, polished. They went. They go in a kiln, and then he does a very elaborate polishing process. And there's another one of his work. Another detail of my um, sunflower painting. And another up close of um, Adam's work. But just look at the detail on there. Just amazing. Well, anyway, I want to thank you so much for coming along with me uh, today here to Santa Fe. And I hope you'll get a chance to come on out and visit again. Till next time, it's Dina Tollefson. Bye-bye.